proudly we hail. From New York City, where the American stage begins, here is another program of the cast of Outstanding Players. Public service time has been made available by this station to bring you this story, as proudly we hail the United States Air Force. Our story is entitled, Two Loves. This is the story of an airman who uses his devotion and training in an attempt to find himself and the girl he loves. Here's an important message for all ex-servicemen. You may be qualified to enlist in the United States Air Force at a higher grade and at higher pay than you may realize. Yes, indeed, the United States Air Force has instituted a new policy that offers big new benefits to veterans of all the armed forces. Right now, the Air Force needs men who are experienced in critical skills required to keep America's air defense strong. If you have training in these skills, the Air Force wants you, and they'll put you right on the job. So, for full details, write or visit your nearest Air Force recruiter right away. Ask them for the folder for prior servicemen. You'll see how you can put your service gain skills to work to your best advantage. Remember, you've earned credits toward a fine retirement in the service, so you protect your initial investment as an airman. Today and tomorrow, you're better off in the United States Air Force. And now, your United States Air Force presents the proudly we hail production, Two Loves. It's easy to appreciate the dramatic force of a jet plane hurtling through the sky at supersonic speed or to recognize the value of a majestic bomber shining proudly in the sun as it flies unswervingly to its objective. Yes, these are the things we see and know about the Air Force. But there is more to it than just that. For behind the plane that flies, there is a multitude of skilled services working efficiently and smoothly, without the help of which a great part of our air power would surely be crippled. One of these is the United States Air Force Airways Air Communications Service. Air Force 46621, make right turn at end of runway. Clear to the ramp, over. Air Force 621, roger. And another one tucked in. These are kind of hopping around here, aren't they, Harry? Yeah. Hey, what's on your mind, Art? Harry, I got them all filled out. I'm gonna send them in today. Hey, what's that? You cutting off box tops or something? <laughs> no, my application for cadet pilot training. Oh, oh, yes, I forgot about that. Boy, if this goes through... Ah, so you're gonna be a flyboy, eh? Well, good luck. Hey, you think I'll be accepted, Harry? I don't know, maybe. Have to make it, I simply have to. Oh, look, what are you knocking yourself out for, Art? You got a good setup here. That ground control approach deal of yours is out of this world. And you're based in California, the garden you of... You don't understand, Harry. Oh. I like to operate that GCA mobile unit, and I think I do a good job. Yeah, so? But it isn't flying. <laughs> I want to fly, Harry. That's all there is to it. Yeah, I see what you mean. Well, good luck, kid. I hope you make it. Thanks. Hey, how about a movie tonight? They're playing one of those underwater pictures. That ought to take your mind off this flying kick of your... Air Force 48634, Oh, that's me. Air Force 48634, this is Stevens Tower, over. Air Force 48634, six miles south of your field. Request landing instructions, over. Air Force 48634, cleared to enter left traffic. Land on runway 26, wind north, six knots. <laughs> oh, man, what a movie. Hey, Arch, you still got your mind on flying? Yeah. Let's have the service club for soda, huh? Okay. Hey, how did you like that part where she sashays up to this colonel? Hey! Hey, look! What's the matter? Well, well that waft there. As I live and breathe, it's Vivian Foster. Hey, Vivian! Hey, Vivian, wait for me! Hey, Vivian, it's oh, me, well, Harry! Harry! Hey! Well, of all people, how are you? Well, I'm just great. What are you doing here? I'm assigned here, group headquarters. Well, what do you know? Oh, oh, hey, Art, excuse me. Art, this is Arthur Gardner. 
Very happy to know you. Uh, hello there. Uh, Vivian had the best pigtails for pulling that you ever saw. <laughs> oh, and Harry, freckles. Your friend isn't interested in all that ancient history. But I am. Look, come on over to the service club with us, Viv. Well, I don't want to break in on anything. I, uh, I, I mean, we, we'd be very happy if you would join us. Well, I'd love to. Great. Say, Viv, when were you home last? And have you heard from my sister Bess recently? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he got that paint, but Arthur, it took three months for those Indian designs he painted on my face to wear off. Uh, just my card. father wouldn't let Harry into our house for the rest of the summer. <laughs> you didn't think I'd use some kind of cheap paint, did you? <laughs> and then he started to go out with Eleanor. That was the last anybody ever heard of him. Oh, come on. Oh, you hear from Eleanor much? Does he hear much? At least three times a week. No There's no kidding. living with him if he misses a letter. <laughs> oh, now, stop exaggerating. Oh, I'm glad I ran into you, Harry. Oh, I... you're going to like it here, Viv. Isn't she, Art? Sure will. Hey, hey, what time is it? Uh, ten after ten. Ooh, I'm late. I promised I'd drop by the mobile unit and give Chuck a hand. He's having trouble with the transmitter. Oh, I'm sorry you have to go. Well, duty calls. You know your way back to your barracks from here, Viv? Well, I, I guess oh, so. Oh, I'll, I'll walk you back. That is, if it's all right with you. Oh, good. Thanks a lot, Art. So long, Viv. I'll keep in touch Bye, with you. Bye, Harry. I, uh, I don't want to take you out of your way. No, it isn't out of my way, uh, Vivian. So I thought I'd like the WAF, and, well, here I am in California. You think you're going to like it? Well, I don't know. Oh, it's all so beautiful. If and... there's uh, anything I can do, Vivian, just you sing out. Roger. Uh, what I mean is, uh, that is to say, uh, Harry and I will do anything to see to it that you have a good time. You just remember that. Yes, Arthur, I, I will. Hey, Odd, what do you say we go into Frisco this Friday? I got the day off, too. Well, uh, uh no, Harry, I, I don't think I can make it. Um, maybe some other time, huh? Well, why not? We'll have a barrel of laughs. And I hear they got a new show over at the Lyceum that's a, a beaut. Uh, I, I, I can't. I have another appointment. Uh-huh. Well, let me take a guess. Vivian? Uh, why, yes, as a matter of fact, it is. Hey, you've been giving the little lady one big rush these last two months. Well, you know how it is. I just wanted to... Get to know the place, sort of. Um, and you're giving her the 50-cent tour, is that it? Well, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. something like that. Looks to me like you've got it, son. Got it bad. Oh, I wouldn't say that exactly, Harry. Oh, you don't have to say it. I just did. Did you uh, tell her that you've been accepted for cadets? No, I think I'll tell her today. <sighs> well, toodaloo, lover boy. I'll be seeing oh, you. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> I could swim and swim and never get tired. Okay, little mermaid, break out the food. I'm starving. <laughs> oh, that's all you think of. It's a wonder you don't weigh 400 pounds. Oh, I'm just a growing boy. <laughs> well, here, try this roast beef sandwich. Mm. Hey, this is all right. <laughs> You've been making eyes at that mess sergeant again. Oh, Arthur, you're crazy. You know, I mean, if I wasn't so hungry, I'd be indignant. <laughs> Say, look at that F-86. Look at him go. Hey, isn't it beautiful? Sure is. Look at him climb. Oh, that's going up in a hurry. Ah, now the dive. Watch him, Viv. Watch him. And away we go. Arthur? Hmm? Flying really means a lot to you, doesn't it? Ah, the greatest, Viv. Now, for instance, you take that guy up there. He's free and alone. He can go anywhere, Viv, anywhere he wants to. Oh, yeah. That's important. Do you, do you realize that the whole success or failure of the Air Force depends on how well that fella does his job? And you, your job is important, too. Oh, it's a great job, Viv, I admit that, but that isn't flying, and I want to fly. Oh? There's beauty and a, a simple logic in the way a man flies. You can see that, can't you, Viv? Of course, Arthur. And the pilot will... He holds all the cards. He knows the power of his engines, the shape of his plane, the nature of the air he's flying through. He uses this power and knowledge and the senses he was born with to fly a soft, 
lazy pattern in the sun or to shoot through the air faster than sound itself. Oh, we've forgotten our lunch. How about another sandwich? Oh, yeah, we, we can't interfere with my eating now. <laughs> There's a science of which I'm a past master. <laughs> oh, Arthur, you're a fool. Vivian. Yes? Uh, having fun, Viv? Oh, yes, Arthur. I don't think I've, I've ever had so much fun in all my life. Vivian. Oh, Vivian, I'm, I'm glad you came here. I... I mean, well, meeting you was the best thing that ever happened around. Vivian, and I love you. Oh, Arthur. I do, Viv. I, I really do. Oh. Well, maybe, maybe I don't say it so well, but Vivian, oh, you, you do mean it, Arthur. You really do. <laughs> Did you tell her about your appointment to cadets? No. Well, look, what are you waiting for? Oh, I don't know, Harry. We just didn't get around to it. We were talking about other things. Uh-huh. I'll tell her. Don't worry. I'll tell her today. Well, you got it pretty bad, haven't you, kid? Yeah, I guess I have. Well, she's a terrific girl. I, yeah, I know she is. Harry, you think she'll understand? I, I mean, about my leaving? Maybe, but well, I think I'd tell her the whole deal if I were you. The longer you wait, the more it's going to hurt. Harry, why can't I be like other guys? Why do I have to knock myself out with this flying routine? I do a pretty good job on the GCA unit. It's interesting. I like the work, and I'll get myself a nice rating out of it. But no, I'm a big wheel. I have to fly. Hey, Art, stop beating your brains out. You know as well as I do that you never will be satisfied until you take a crack at it. Just wish I could leave well enough alone, that's all. When do you leave? June 6th. <whistles> exactly three weeks. Yeah, it's kind of quick. Well, Aunt, I, I think maybe you'd better go see her and tell her the whole deal. She'll find it out anyway. Roger. And out. Arthur, you sound as though you had the most important news in the world. What's cooking? Uh, well, uh, you want a soda, Viv? No, no, it's too noisy in here. Let's take a walk, huh? It's beautiful. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go. Did you ever see a moon like that in all your life? Look, this, there, there's something I want to tell you. Just look at the size of it. You know, I feel as though I could just reach up and touch it. Yeah, it sure is big. Viv, Viv, it's, it's about... It's a friendly my... moon. I, I mean, I remember seeing the moon at home. It seemed so distant and cold. But now take this fellow. He's just a regular old member of the family. <laughs> Good old Uncle Moon. Say hello to Uncle Moon, Arthur. Vivian. Oh, it's so lovely here. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hello, Carl. You two lovebirds out here sopping up the moonlight? Yeah, well, we're just taking a little walk. <laughs> famous last words. Uh, what I mean is famous last unmarried words. <laughs> we were only taking... Get out of here, you clown. I was leaving all the rough stuff. Oh, we were, Carl, really? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Well, I'll be seeing you guys around. i got to get down to the service club now. So long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you, Carl. Oh, say, Arch, I almost forgot. I heard about your good luck. Congratulations. Uh... Yeah, thanks, Carl. Uh, uh, take it easy now. Huh? How do you like this guy, Viv? An appointment to aviation cadets? I don't know. Some people get all the luck. Well, be careful, Arch, and remember, fly low and slow. So long. Vivian. When, uh, when do you leave? June 6th. Three weeks. Well, that, that isn't very much time. When did you get your orders? Last Tuesday. Gee, I was so surprised, Viv. You could have knocked me over with a... <laughs> oh, Viv, what's the matter? You are listening to the Proud Louis Hale production, Two Loves, and we will return in just one moment for the second act. Many times a man is skilled in a particular job, yet he's unable to find a use for it. Has this happened to you? Are you a service veteran with service gain skills that are just going to waste? Well, if you are, then listen to me, because you may be able to put that skill to work as a member of the United States Air Force. Right now, the Air Force needs experience and know-how gained in all of the armed forces. If you possess one of the critical skills needed to keep America's air defense strong, you could put that experience to work in the Air Force and do so at higher grade and with higher pay than you may realize. You've earned credits toward a fine, valuable retirement income. 
So you protect that initial investment. For full details, write or visit your Air Force recruiter. Ask for the prior serviceman's folder. This folder will show you why. Today and tomorrow, you're better off in the United States Air Force. You are listening to Proudly We Hail. And now your United States Air Force presents the second act of Two Loves. Air Force 64236, ready to roll. Air Force 64236, cleared for takeoff. Air Force 64236, off at 35, clear to leave tower frequency. Roger. And away we go. <laughs> well, what's the good word, Art? You getting your wings all oiled up? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, what's eating you anyway? Nothing, nothing's eating me. I don't know why you say that, Harry. I walk around grinning like an idiot. Something's eating me. Boy. Is it Vivian? Yeah. Odd, why don't you go and talk to her? Oh, she doesn't even know I'm alive. I tried to see her, Harry. I must have called her ten times, but... Now, what's the use? The deal went sour. That's all there is to it. Oh, you're wrong about that, Art. It's just that her pride is hurt. She thinks that you were giving her one of those hit-and-run deals, you know. I guess I just don't understand women, that's all. Look, she's a good kid. And I know that she wants to straighten things out just as much as you do. How do you know? I was talking to her. She dropped by here about a half an hour ago. She was on her way to operation. She tell you that? No, but I can tell. Look, go on down, Art. Talk to her. I don't know. What's she doing in operations? Oh, you didn't know? Well, Colonel Benson is flying to Hawaii to attend some kind of conference, and Viv's going along. She's the conference secretary. They'll be gone three days. I see. Yeah. Well, I'll be seeing you, Harry. So long, Art. And good luck, kid. Thanks. Arthur, I just don't want to talk about it anymore. But I'm Viv, too busy. I, I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. You have to believe me. I, I, it oh, really Viv, doesn't please. make much difference what I believe. You're getting what you want, and I... Well, I'm satisfied, so let's just let it go with that. Why can't you be reasonable about this thing? I told you I was sorry. What more do you I want? I don't want anything. You're doing all the talking. Well, that's the way you want it? Okay. I won't annoy you anymore. That's the way it's going to be. Good. That's flight 417 to Hickam. Passengers, prepare to load. Uh-oh, that's me. Well, I'm off. Bye, Arthur. Goodbye. Sugar on? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thanks. You write your folks about the cadets yet? Yeah. yeah they must be proud of you, all right. I bet Vivian really is, Hold too. it, hold it. Let's change the subject, huh? Come on, Art, don't be bitter. She's the stubbornest, most unreasonable girl I ever met in my whole life. Harry, I'm telling you I'm through. Sure, sure you are. A guy like me, I dream all my life of flying. I work for it, I study everything. Just when I get to where I'm ready to begin, she comes along and knocks me out. I'm saying it again, Harry, I'm over, finished, done. I'm tired of beating my head against a stone wall. What time do you think she'll be getting in from Hickam tomorrow? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're finished, all right. You don't want to know anything at all about it, do you? No. I'm curious, that's all. Oh, sure. I guess you'll be in about five o'clock or so. Looks like we got ourselves a pretty fine day. But have a smooth flight home. Yes, sir, it's a beautiful day. You enjoy yourself in Hawaii? Oh, yes, sir. There's so much to see. I wish I could have had some time off. Some of these people just don't know when it's time to stop talking. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, well, it'll be good to get back tired. That sea looks nice and restful, doesn't it? Yes, sir. It really does look peaceful. I remember days when it was anything but peaceful. Yes, indeed. I think I'll go up forward. It's a long time since I've flown one of these planes. How are we doing, Lieutenant? Fine, sir. Good. Sir. Yes, Herman Carter. Sir, there's a change in the weather. A storm is blowing up from the southeast. Wind is 43 knots per hour. Ah, uh, that's bad. You think it'll hit the base? It may, sir. Carter, contact Stevens Tower. I'd like to have the weather at the base. Yes, sir. <laughs>
Hey, what's the score, Harry? Any change? No, it looks bad. What about Hamilton? Uh, they're worse off than we are. They have wins up to 56 knots. Uh, but take it easy, boy. We'll bring him in. Who's in the mobile unit, Carl? Uh, about 50 miles out now. Stevens Tower, this is Air Force 54219. Over. Air Force 54219, this is Stevens Tower. Go ahead. Air Force 219, request GCA. Roger, Air Force 219. Contact Stevens Approach Control on 136.80 when over range station for GCA approach. Air Force 219, Roger. They're about 40 miles out now. They'll be contacting your GCA unit in a few minutes. Okay, I'm going down to the unit. Get him on the scope yet? Yes, they're coming up on the range now. It's going to be tough for this wind. I'll take it. Stevens Approach Control. This is Air Force 54219. Over range station at 3,000 feet. Heading 310. Air Force 54219. This is Stevens GCA. Have you in positive radar contact. Continue heading 310. This is your downwind leg. Descend to 1,500. Complete initial cockpit check. Over. 219, roger. Heading 310. Descending to 1,500. Cockpit check complete. Over. If at any time during this run you lose contact with GCA for any one minute interval, Proceed to Stevens radio range at 1,500 feet and contact approach control on B channel 126.18. Roger. Air Force 219, weather at Stevens. 300 foot ragged ceiling. Visibility one half mile in heavy rain. Wind southeast, 40 knots. Altimeter, 860. Landing runway 13. Runway is 8,000 feet long, 150 feet wide. GCA minimums at this station are 250 feet and one half mile visibility. Over. 219, roger. Air Force 219. What will be your airspeed on base and final approach? Over. Roger. 140 base and 130, 130 that is. Final. Air Force 219. Set gyro and do not reset for remainder of run. Stand by for turn to base leg. Now turn left to heading 220. Descend to 1,200 feet. Over. Roger. 220, descending to 1,200 feet. Air Force 219. On base leg, perform final cockpit check. Check gear down and locked. Roger. Gear in the green. Air Force 219. Turn left to heading 130, altitude 1200. This will put you on final approach. Air Force 219. This is your final controller. How do you read me? Over. 219, read you loud and clear. Over. 219, Roger. You are seven miles from touchdown. Assume final approach speed. Maintain altitude of 1,200, heading 130. Do not acknowledge any further transmissions. If you do not hear GCA for any five second interval, climb to 1,500 feet on a heading 130 and contact approach control. Steer right to heading 135, five miles from touchdown, you are now approaching glide path. Begin normal rate of descent, 500 feet per minute. Now on glide path. Steer left to heading 132, four miles from touchdown. Above glide path, 10, 15, 25 feet high. Increase your rate of descent slightly. Heading 132, holding you on center line. Holding 20 feet high on glide path. Increase rate of descent. They're having trouble. Look, he's going off center line. Steer right to heading 135. Five miles from touchdown. You are now approaching glide path. Begin normal rate of descent 500 feet per minute. Now on glide path. Steer left to heading 132. 
four miles from touchdown. Above glide path, 10, 15, 25 feet high, increase your rate of descent slightly. Heading 132, holding you on center line. Holding 25 feet high on glide path. Increase rate of descent. Steer right to heading 3136. Coming down to glide path 15, 10, 5, and on glide path. Heading 36 lined up with center line, two miles from touchdown. You are now 15 feet below glide path. Decrease rate of descent. Steer left, 1-4, on glide path. Steer left to heading 132. Passing through GCA minimums. If not contact, execute emergency procedure, climb to 1,500 feet on a heading of 130 degrees. Glide path good. Heading 132. Over the end of runway. Over touchdown. Touchdown in three seconds. Hey, Viv, darling. Uh, oh, I was a little worried, darling. I'm so glad to see you. Uh, even though I'm selfish and unreasonable. Viv, don't say that. Oh, I was mistaken, Arthur. This trip, I, I, I don't know. Maybe your two loves confused you for a moment. You really mean that? Mm-hmm. And I hope that if, if you ever should get into flying trouble, there'll be somebody like you to bring you down to Earth safely for me. Roger, girl. Two loves, huh? <laughs> <laughs> two loves. Two loves. When you make an investment, you want it to pay off, right? Well, men, how about those years you invested in the service, learning skills, gaining experience valuable to yourself and your country? You can make those years pay off in big dividends today by becoming a member of the United States Air Force. Yes, if you've been in any of the armed forces, you may be eligible to enlist in the Air Force in the gray that'll be a real pleasant surprise to you. You see, the Air Force needs men skilled in certain important fields, and you may be just such a man. If so... The Air Force offers you an opportunity to put your previous service experience to work and to collect on those credits you've earned toward a comfortable retirement. Your Air Force recruiter has a folder full of details, so write or visit him right away. Ask for the prior serviceman's folder. Today and tomorrow, you're better off in the United States Air Force. <laughs> This has been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented transcribed in cooperation with this radio station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center in New York for the United States Air Force. And this is Dick Herbert speaking, and inviting you to tune in to the same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail. <laughs>